want to learn how to fucking play race to block. Well, your old boy Tony Bale's got your back. I'm assisted with Big Tiny 93 to my left, your right. We're gonna show you how to play the fucking game. We're gonna tell you what the fucking rules are. We're gonna tell you the do's and the don'ts. You can't handle it. Don't fucking play. Step off the road. Do you feel this? Do you feel like the dark abyss? <laughs> One of the major rules to race to Davy Jones' locker is you're not allowed to use any type of fucking gun. Another rule is you're not allowed to use any fire, toxic bottle moonshine, and definitely you ain't allowed to use any fucking dynamite. Like I told you, there's many rules to this game. Another rule you guys need to take into consideration before trying to play this beautiful game here in Red Dead is there's no fucking fire allowed either. You can't use fucking fire. If there's fire, the ball gets reset. Like I said, there's many fucking rules to this game. One other rule is, you're not allowed to use bow and arrows. Ah! However, the good part about this game is you can use whatever you want as far as it's a melee weapon, whether it might be a knife. Hammer. Might even be some bowlers. You can use a fucking lasso too. But just make sure you use all melee weapons. And that's it.
this is the drop point right here. You want to carry the, we're going to start in the cemetery, which will be right here. I'm going to zoom in. We're going to start here. And uh, the football will stand in the middle of this cathedral right here. Some of the players will start at this entrance here. Some of the players will start at this entrance right here. And some of the players will start at this entrance right here. But I'll explain that when we get there. I just wanted to show everybody that the cemetery is the starting point. And you have to run the football all the way down to this point where we're at right here. Now, you cannot place a marker right here. You can't go like this. Place a marker. You, can't, you cannot place a marker. The only way you can know to where you're going is pull up your map. And the best thing to do is look at the fast travel, and it's directly south for the fast travel. It's pretty much a free-for-all. You can play teams. But the person playing the football will be escorted on the shoulders of everybody fighting over the football. So whoever has the football on their shoulders and they come to this spot right here, this little plank, and they stand on the plank and they throw the football in, well, that means they win and they become the football the next round. Now, if let's say I got the football and I'm, gonna, I'm about to throw the football to Davy Jones' locker. They could come up behind and push me and the football in. I can't jump in the water with the football. If I go in the water with the football, the football gets reset. So nobody wins that round. But if I stand here and I throw the football in and I'm safe, I become the winner. And you can use your horse. The only time you can use your horse is to catch up to the fight. So if you get killed and you spawn far away, well, you can call your horse in to get you back to the fight quick but you cannot stow the football on your horse. Once you have control of the football, you have to run it down here on foot. With I got those empty feed bag, empty feed bag blue. With no place marker, but if you want to take the time to look at your map, you can. Now you'll run in, you will run into some obstacles. So, you know, the police can shoot, that's fine. You're just going to have to figure out a way around it, or maybe the train is in the way or something. I don't know. There's always going to be some type of obstacle on the way here. If somebody shoots or if I hear an explosion, we're going to reset the ball somewhere in the middle of town in, a, in an intersection, and everybody will circle around the ball, and then we'll say go, and we'll start from there. All right, so I'm going to explain how it starts here. So this is always the starting point right here, guys. This is going to be an entrance. Some of the players will stand outside of this gate right here as an entrance. Some of the players will stand outside of this gate over here. Whoops, nope, not in there. I meant right over here. Outside this gate right here. Yep, right here. This is another entrance. And then the third entrance will be way over here at the other end of the cemetery. <laughs> you want to be lassoed in advance? He's giving them a fair warning. Hey, you got to respect him for that. And this is another entrance right here. This will be another entrance. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, so the football, Big Tiny, I need you to stand in the middle of the cathedral right here because you're the football. Yep, she's already, all right, okay. So when everybody gets in their place, you have to ask them, Tiny, is everybody ready? And when they say yes, you can either shoot your gun in the air or you can say go, and everybody rushes to you. So everybody go to an entrance. Yep, everybody get to an entrance. I'm the referee, so don't attack me. I got my lantern out so you guys know it's me. I mean, okay, we got, we got two over here. We got one here, and we got one there. Remember, Tidy, you don't move, you don't talk or anything. You just, you're the football. He wants to know if everybody's ready. All right, shoot your gun in the air, Tiny. All right, now put your gun away, Tiny, and just let him take you away. <laughs> Calgon. Calgon, take me away. Tech did it. Tech's the winner. Oh, 
I just want to give the, my posse members here a special thanks. You guys got to understand, I don't let nobody help me with this sort of thing unless it's the bell posse. My posse. We got fucking money. Let me introduce you to Big Tiny 93. One of the most craziest females in our posse. She goes by the name of Viper. Right here, we got T-Mad TV. Make sure you guys go check out his YouTube. That son of a bitch is one hell of a crazy guy. Always up to some type of fucking shenanigans. T-Mad TV. And we got a new member to the posse. We don't know if we're going to let him in yet. We got to see what he's worth and what he's all about. But his name he goes by the name of Blueby. We'll see if we're going to bring him in. I think he's gonna take care of things nice and good. Like a good booby should. We got us one hell of a crazy posse member in the bell posse. You don't wanna mess with this little lady. She likes to joke around and play around and lasso your ass and drag you across the damn alligator's face. However, it's actually a guy playing the character, Grizzly TF. You guys check out his YouTube. <laughs> Bonjour, madame. 